Hello, hello, Flutterflow developers, and welcome to API Flow YouTube channel. Today, we will discuss how to connect your Flutterflow application with Airtable data and how to use it from Flutterflow application. So, first of all, I need to create a new project in API Flow service, and I will select Airtable service to connect. Next, I need to connect my Airtable account. So this will allow API flow to work with my data. And you can select single database to use with your uh, API flow project or all databases. I will open access to all databases in my workspace. And next I will select my account. I will choose what flow demo database we will use in this demo. And next, we can open access to some selected tables inside of database or open access to all database, uh, all tables. So I open access to all tables. Next, what we need to do to launch my project online is publish. I published it and now I can download open API definition, go to Flutterflow project go to API call section and upload my API definitions. This will create all operations required to work with data in, inside my of my Airtable account. So now I only need to add security header authorization header to my API definitions. This is security measure to protect newly created API. And next, I need to save changes. Now I can query my tables. I have two tables here in Airtable. It's tasks and projects. We will use tasks in this video. So I can call my endpoint and see that I can receive all data that are stored inside of my table in Airtable. Next, what I recommend to do is to create data type to convert these records. So we will create a new data type. I will go here. I already created a task. It has string ID field. And next, what I want to do, I will add task field. It will be string field. And I want to have status also. Uh, no, it's not data type, it's new field status. It will be a string. And I want to have assignee field, but assignee is a complex field, as you can see from this data we received. It's fields, it contains fields itself. So I will create assignee data type. Create assign, assign a data type and we'll create name inside. For now, I need only name. We can create ID and etc. etc. And here I will create a new field. Let's check name. It's assigning field, so I will create assign a field here. And it will be data type assign create. So now we can convert result of our request to this data type. But as you can see, our request returns records and offset marker. Offset usually used to do pagination. In this case, we have less than 100 records, so it is not required, but we need to specify additional data type to be able to convert these records to formatted data types with some list field. So I will create a data type tasks list and it will have field records. It will be of data type 
task, its list, create, and it will have offset field will be string in case if you will need in the future it for some pagination logic so now we can convert our response parse it as data type tasks list and this is not a list this is single model because list is inside of that data we have list here so now we go to our page, to our page, and what we will do when page loads, when page loads, we will add new action. Actually, let's create page state ver variable first. So we will store our tasks in local local uh, page state variable, and we will call it tasks and we will specify this this is a data type it's a list and it's list of tasks we will save our variable and next what we want to do when our page loads on page load we want to do api call and in this api call we want to do list tasks and we will name it api tasks list okay when it's a seed we will add action to uh to to, to update page state and we want to set field list data task we want to set value from our result of action api task list as data type data structure field records so we want to save our records into our tasks list that we have inside of our variable we also can say offset in this uh, in this demo i will not say offset but for future usage you may require offset and you may require to query other pages using offset and etc so it's it can be can be useful to say offset Next, what we want to do, we want to generate uh, children elements of our list view using this local page variable, its page state, tasks, and we will use no further changes because this is a list and we will name it tasks list. Save, okay. So now we can bind fields to individual, individual components in our view. It will, for example, will be task name. Next, we want to bind it to assign data structure field sign data structure field name no assign as default default variable and assign as marker for our ui and we for example want to bind status data structure field okay it's, it will be status okay so now we bound list we loaded from api to this list of uh, list view elements and it will generate generate for us all uh, rows for all our tasks let's check how it work in test mode And so application is loading. 
it takes some time. And our data also is loaded. So you can see I have my tasks here and I have task name, signee and status here. Next, you can change different settings, bind additional fields. You can apply filters to your data. You can apply pagination. You can sort this data if required and etc. In next videos, I will show how to send data to Airtable to create records, to update records, to manage records in your Airtable. And we will build a few demos, a few sample applications to learn how to work with Airtable data to API flow from Flutterfall. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.